Hi friends and welcome back to Inner Health Journey. Today I thought I'd bring you along as I walk through the garden and check on everything and plant some seeds. So the last time we were out here was about a month ago. And you can see the tomatoes have taken off since that time. We got a lot of green tomatoes. Our jalapenos are looking good as well. <clears throat> Today I'm going to be planting in here. I'm going to plant some squash, acorn squash and spaghetti squash. See, just see how it goes. And also I'm going to plant some cilantro along the edges. In here I did replant some potatoes. These are the dragon radishes that I try, I'm trying out for the first time this year. I haven't seen anything from them yet. Here's a dame. Sweet potatoes with some black beans on the side. It's looking good. Here is our peppermint, spearmint. And here is our lettuce that I'm letting go to seed, but today I'm going to pull some of these and I'm going to plant some peas here. Our beans are doing well. Our potatoes are dying back. I harvested the radishes out of here and these sweet peas are done for the year. The raspberry plants did not do well and the blueberry plants did nothing this year for the first time. Again, these are black beans looking good. I did cut off the onion tops and freeze dried those and made some onion powder and I didn't do anything with this, but I will just gather these and make some onion powder. So some flowers coming in. I just did a harvest of broccoli. This is the Brussels sprouts. They're looking good. Got to get in here and weed some trees out. Here are our peppers. Some just different mixes of peppers some sweet banana peppers in here and these are all looking good <clears throat> the bugs got to my cabbage but the chickens will love the cabbage and here are my sriracha peppers I don't know if you can see those very well but they are big Strawberries are done for the year. I got two things of strawberries. Here is our little herb garden. I've been collecting chamomile almost every day for teas. Parsley, rosemary, and this cilantro's gone to seed. So that's why we're planting some more cilantro today. Basil, the dill, thyme, lemon balm, and stevia. Again, some more peppers in here. These are my green peppers. <clears throat> I harvest a bunch of those and they are in the freeze dryer right now. The carrots are looking good. Here is the kale and spinach bin that I replanted and my chickens got in here and destroyed it again. 
So I'm going to harvest the baby kale today and then replant this one more time. And then here are the cucumbers. And here's my first cucumber. So. We are going to plant some squash here. <clears throat> I have some acorn and spaghetti, and like I said, we're gonna plant some cilantro along the edges here. I've never planted this late in the season, um, but I thought I'd give it a try. They said about 75 days harvest, so we will see. And I'm just planting one seed in each hole. I'm just going to harvest this baby kale and replant. soil in here. This is the container that the bottom fell out of it. So I just want to add another bag of soil to it. That was the kale. And then here I'm just going to sprinkle the spinach. Just mix them up a little, cover them spread out a little bit better. Okay. So I'm just planting some peas in here, see how they do. Last year I planted throughout the whole season and I was surprised how much I could get harvested. Just trying to maximize the season. And the best way to do that is to learn how to grow your own food, get our hands dirty, and just try. We'll never understand what we need to do or how to do this unless we get out there and try. Thanks friends for joining me in the garden today as I got my hands dirty. I hope you get your hands dirty too. Have a great day. Bye.